New technology which allows the Air Ambulance Service to take control of someone's smartphone so they can view live video streaming to assess casualties in an emergency, emergency situation is being trialled across the South East. Yes, the uh, service says that the technology will help to save lives and could eventually be used across the country. Our reporter John Young joins us now from the, uh, the headquarters of the Kent, Surrey and Sussex Air Ambulance Service at Red Hill. John, just give us a bit of an idea about how it would actually work. Well, Rob, this is yet another example, isn't it, of how the internet is, is simply changing our lives and how that is helping organisations like uh, the Air Ambulance for Kent, Surrey and Sussex. And it's all because we nearly all have phones these days, nearly all our phones have video cameras on them, and that is what makes the difference. It is a moment we all dread. There's been an accident. You're trying not to panic. You call 999. A ambulance, please. This scene was acted out for us by the air ambulance crew today to highlight what is new. Um, I've just, uh, I've just knocked someone off, off their, off their bike. Off their Rather bike. than rely on you to guess your location, stumble through a description of what you're seeing, the emergency services send you a text. When you get the text message, just hit accept, and it will activate your camera and allow me to see the scene. Okay. 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 I can do that. Your phone has become the okay, eyes and ears of trained experts, helping them judge what's actually that. happened, how serious the injuries are, and whether an ambulance by air or by road would be best. Making a 999 call is a really stressful event for anyone coming across a car crash or coming across a medical emergency. And we need them to provide vital information so that we can make good decisions about whether to task the air ambulance or not. So to ask okay, a caller so whether now. a patient is conscious or breathing is very challenging for them. So for us to be able to okay, see the right. scene and see a patient for the first time is, for me, absolutely game-changing. As we were filming this afternoon, the air ambulance was called out to a real emergency. The latest trip funded not by taxpayers but by charitable donations. Managers here believe money can be saved with this as well as lives. I think it's important um, to know that each mission costs a little over £3,000 and so it's a very, very key decision for us when to dispatch the helicopter. We don't want to dispatch it unnecessarily because it's expensive but also we want to make sure that our um, HEMS crew and the helicopter are sent to every single mission when it's going to be required, when it's going to save lives or improve medical outcomes. This project has involved research with the University of Surrey and the South East Coast Ambulance Service. Yep. The technology is called Good Sam, using our phones to make Good Samaritans of us all. And if you like the sound of that and want to be a Good Samaritan, think, do I have to download this app or something? You don't. That's the point. It's not technically an app at all, actually. It's technology that means that if you receive the text and accept it, then your phone springs to life. No video footage is kept on the phone. Once you've, the job is done, that's the end of it. They're very proud of the research they've done here in the South East, pioneering this, and they're very hopeful that this will be taken up across the rest of the country. OK, John, thank you.